I'm not sure if anyone else is talking about this, I'm sure a lot of people are, but we haven't seen anything about Legend ZA being like officially announced at all since the original announcement about six months ago, which is insane. But I have a little theory as to why we may not have seen a Legend ZA trailer or any updates yet. So if you guys watched my last video, I made a video about like the news of how Game Freak is hiring about, I think like it was 37 or something new employees. In which a lot of those people are going to be working on Legend ZA. Obviously the game isn't finished yet. I hope it still has a lot of development to it still. Because I would love a really in-depth Pokemon game that just that just exceeds everybody's expectations. I'm, I think that everybody's expectations for Pokemon games have gotten pretty low. Like, ever since Scarlet and Violet... You know, it's pretty down there. Also, if you guys don't mind leaving a like on this video, subscribing to the channel if you haven't already, and leaving a comment down below about your thoughts about Legend ZA, it really goes a long way and helps so much, guys. They can definitely make a good game, though. Like, I know Game Freak can make a good game. I know that Legend ZA could be a great game, Generation 10, whatever that's going to be called. You know, the future remakes can be good. You know, remakes hopefully will be good again, like how they were on the DS era and stuff. Well, Alpha, Sapphire, and Omega Ruby were great. Those are probably the last good remakes. I enjoyed Diamond and Pearl remakes, but anyways, we're going to skip past that. We're not talking about remakes here. We're talking about why we haven't seen another official announcement or trailer for Legend ZA. So initially, my thoughts and my theory is that the reason why we haven't seen a new trailer is because... They're saving it for the Switch 2. I really do believe that this is going to be on the Switch 2. Maybe backwards compatible with the Switch 1 and Switch 2. Like a dual release type of thing. And I know a lot of people are saying it's confirmed to be on the Switch 1. But I, I don't know. I really don't think they really like stated that it's yeah it's definitely coming out on the next console. Or I mean on the, the, the current console. And I know like in the trailer it says Nintendo Switch and all that. But if they're making another Switch. Which is probably what they're going to do is a Switch 2. It's still going to be a Switch. It's still going to be whatever the next name like could be. New Nintendo Switch. I hope they don't do that, by the way. I really hope they don't just add the word new to it. I hope it's at least like Switch 2 or like Mega Switch. I don't know. But I don't know if you guys remember this tweet. It was on the official Nintendo Twitter. And they basically said it was the president of Nintendo. And that they're going to make an announcement about the successor of the Nintendo Switch within this fiscal year. Which means in 2024... And this tweet was about four months ago, by the way, just to remember that. And they said it's been over nine years since we announced the existence of the Nintendo Switch back in March 2015. We'll be holding a Nintendo Direct this June, blah, blah, blah. That already happened. That was like, like two months, three months ago. So they're still going to announce whatever the Switch 2 or the next console is going to be. I don't think that we're really going to get like too much information. I think they're probably just going to give us the name. They might surprise us and even give us a photo or like a... 10 second teaser clip of what it what it actually is but my theory is that because pokemon legends ZA is coming out in 2025 and that's probably when the next console is coming out 2025 i'm thinking that they're gonna have it be like a dual release and they don't want to give us any glimpse of what legends ZA looks like because they don't want us to see what the switch 2 graphics are capable of the switch 2 graphics i believe are rumored to be like the same powers like the ps4 pro i think i heard somebody say or just the ps4 like regular which is technically outdated but who cares it's better than the switch it's better than what we have now so i think whenever the next console announcement comes out i think we're gonna get a legend ZA trailer following that shortly after i can't imagine that not happening because i really do think that they're saving this for the next console i mean it just kind of makes sense like why would they drop a pokemon title when the switch is gonna and unless you know it could be the same thing where it's like xbox series x and xbox one had a thing where it's like you could buy one disc it's one copy you do not have to buy two games just one copy and you could play it on both consoles the xbox one and the series x so i think it's going to be something like that where it's like some sort of backwards compatibility thing but even with that being said i don't think they want to give us a trailer until the next console is officially announced and so we're in september it's already pretty much midway through september we only have a couple of more months throughout the year I think that we're going to probably most likely get an announcement of the next console probably in November. That's my guess. They're probably going to do some sort of a special announcement live stream or something. I don't know if they're going to do a direct. That'd be kind of cool if they did a direct. 
It just wouldn't make sense just because of how powerful the Switch 2 would be compared to the regular Switch. It's going to have way better graphics, way better capabilities of everything. And Legends EA is probably going to be a pretty big game. I mean, the, the first trailer that we got was pretty cool. It seems pretty promising. I'm really looking forward to it. And you know, now people are making all these fan trailers. I made a fan trailer, by the way. I'm one of those people. But we're getting more and more fan trailers out there. People are getting really anxious for this game to be released or just so we can get a better glimpse of what it looks like. I'm pretty sure Legends EA was announced to be released within the first couple of months of 2025, like early 2025 or something like that. And if the next console comes out next year, it could very well come out like maybe March, April or something. But now I don't know when the next console would be officially released. But what I'm talking about is just their announcement of the existence of whatever this next console is. I really hope it is a Switch 2, and I really think it's going to be backwards compatible in general, like with all Switch games. I know that's a debatable topic. A lot of people think the Switch 1 is not going to be backwards compatible to Switch 2, or I mean, vice versa. You guys, you know what I mean. And I mean, I really think that Legends EA, like they're going to, they're focusing really hard on this game because if they're hiring a bunch of new people, that means they want more people hands on because maybe they weren't enjoying the way it was going because it's already been in production or development for a while now. So. Them hiring people now really makes me think that they saw how the game was like just coming out to be and they didn't really, they weren't too fond of it. Like maybe it had some test runs of it and they hired new people or they are hiring new people and they're going to fix the game, the, all the faults, all this and that. I think it's going to be a promising game. Like I, I genuinely think that they're going to do good with this game because it's been two years also since we've had a Pokemon game. You know, we, we had the DLC for Scarlet and Violet last year. This year we have nothing. 2024 has nothing Pokemon. I mean, mainline Pokemon related at least. So Legends EA, like they're going all in on that. I mean, they're probably already, I mean, they've probably already started development of like Generation 10 and everything, but Generation 10, I think, is honestly still a couple years away. I know games take a long time to make, so they've probably started. So they probably started Legends EA, probably maybe 2022, maybe early 2023, because Legends Arceus came out. I think it was 2022, right? I think the game came out like January 2022, if I'm not mistaken. I really, really enjoyed Legends Arceus. I thought Legends Arceus was such a fun game. I mean, my only complaints with Legends Arceus was that like, I think the game needed better and more side tasks like just or maybe just better there, there's a lot of side tasks definitely better ones though and sometimes the map kind of felt a little lonely like i felt like i was kind of like just running around doing nothing because there's nothing else to do but you know they're probably going to fix that with legend za legend za seems pretty hands-on i'm i really really like the idea of it being in lumio city and like kind of the development of lumio city and just like how it's it's a different scale where like the city's actually going to be pretty big compared to like regular pokemon games where a city on the screen realistically is just a couple of buildings like scarlet and violet definitely helped with that idea a little bit more where it's like you're walking through a city and there's like bigger buildings and it's kind of a better like a bigger area although like some of the cities in scarlet and violet were still pretty small and i don't know if that's just like the capabilities of the switch like they just couldn't add any more to that but with legends ea i don't know i think they've really seen people's reactions to the last couple of years of pokemon i think they're really listening because game freak they know what they're doing but they're trying to switch it up a little bit you know what i mean like it just because we had a couple of games that weren't so great, I don't think Pokemon is done with forever. Like, I think they're going to go right back to where they were making amazing games. And even when I'm saying this, I have to mention this in every video just because I don't want people to think I hate the new Pokemon games. I really did enjoy Scarlet and Violet. Like, I thought they were super fun. But it's no doubt, like, with... But it's no secret. I'm not going to, like, sugarcoat it. Like, they had a ton of bugs and issues and just... And just little weird things here and there that I was like, okay, is this really, this is Pokemon, right? This is, this is interesting. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what your thoughts are. Are you looking forward to Legends EA trailer? Hopefully coming soon. And what do you think the Switch 2 is going to be called? Let me know in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.